Hello Cancerian, welcome into Sage, Sense of Healing Tara. Thank you for being here and I do hope you are well. So thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing and your support means so much to me. So please do continue to support as you come in. Hit the like button, share the video with those you love and hit the subscribe button if you have not done so yet. Thank you so much. Cancers, we're going to be getting some inspired messages for you. Hey, I feel as as you hold your own, your own, in your own heart space, some of you are celibate. You're not entertaining love or intercourse at this point or even letting a lot of people into your emotional space. Because you're focused on arriving at your destiny, you have aligned with your destiny, I feel. But you're focusing on manifesting through aligning with your gifts, okay? Your success, material success, and your abundance, even with success in your relationships. Okay. <clears throat> so, Cancerians, remember that these are general tarot card messages or playing card messages. So, all of the messages may not apply. To all of you so take the ones that do apply and the rest let them fly welcome in family to the healing journey i want to get some inspired messages out for you cancers what's going on with you okay feelings for new beginnings spirit intertwining with spirit feelings of intimacy wanting to show Reveal yourself inside out, I feel. Wanting to bear yourself. At this point, maybe someone is listening to you. I'm not sure. Whenever I see the Jack of Wands, I feel someone eavesdropping. The Jack of Wands is all... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting that energy. Someone eavesdropping or looking in at your window. Or it could be you wanting to go on another journey somewhere, creating a new vision for yourself, going off alone on a new path, leaving the past behind cancer and yeah, we know. Uh, what do you want to talk about? Because I know cancerians are healing, connecting to child. And most cancerians right now are on a path of um, you know, going it alone. Wanting to really, as I said in the beginning, align with their success materially, financially, spiritually. Coming to so Cancerians are on a soul search journey really right now, you know. It's because I feel most Cancerians have been suppressed for very long. Like caught up in relationships, serving others, others' well-being. Um, giving a lot of their attention and emotions to other people. Cancerians have been drained, I feel, emotionally. But not detrimentally, because Cancerians have the capacity to hold others in their emotions. But as a bigger calling, um, seeks, um, uh, as a bigger calling, I don't know, in your soul, echoes through you. you you know you have to gather up yourself to do more with these emotional gifts that you bear and i feel your intuition has a charm because we're going through a lot of transformations now mother earth is waking up beautifully and i feel as the fourth earth sign cancerian and the mother sign the water sign the emotions you are feeling a lot of the transitions that earth is going through whether you're cancer sun moon rising or venus there's a lot of change coming forth you're becoming very flexible, skillful, very um, focused, I feel. Aligning with your focus, with your intention. Aligning with the deepest, darkest part of yourself. Some of you are going through dark night of the soul, but you're coming out prosperously. Okay? When you go through your dark night of the soul phase, Cancer, and you are aligning with your dark side. You're getting to understand why you behave a certain way or think or act or feel. You know, things that you would just do on a whim triggered by certain emotional um stimulants around you you're going to uncover all of this why it's this way for you as you go back on the soul searching journey you're it's, it's supposed to empower you you know for you to become self-aware some people make it some people don't but this is what is happening 
So when you get to know your emotions, you become empowered with the ninja energy here. The two of swords in tarot is my ninja card, honestly. It's being flexible, being able to move in the dark. It's my cat-like spirit, you know, being light. Um, I'm using your intuition and being guided by the spirits, the angels, the guides that are around you. Being able to move in feeling even without moving physically. You don't, you don't, mm. It's a very powerful time coming up for you, right? But, so we know all of that transformation is taking place. And thus why some cancerns are single. Of course, you have people that are interested in you because you're beautiful. It is naturally beautiful because you embody earth itself. The natural beauties of earth, water, nature, the sunlight, everything is found within you. Your beauty can see. And whether that is just in your spirit or in your physical, whatever, you're just beautiful. Okay? You're also connected to Pisces energy, very intellect, very um, psychic, psychic abilities, very intuitive, very quiet, dreamy. Okay, very, um, you like to be alone to feel things out. All right, so right now, that's what's going on for you. There's something else that I would like to tell you that could possibly help you along your journey wherever you're going because I know you're following your heart space, but I want to give you some encouragement and it's that from wherever you're coming from, you have to realize your true strength. Something like that. Tell me more about Kat. What? I don't know how that happened. Uh, I don't know. This Is this someone else coming into your life? A love? This is enlightening. Well, it's about being trapped where you're coming from, as I was just saying. I didn't finish saying it's about knowing where you're coming from and your true strength. Like you're stronger than you think. As if you're a part of a family, a group of women or sisters or something like that. You are more than what you believe yourself to be. You are more powerful. Like you have magic, I think. Mm hmm. I don't know, there's a reason why you were not free, in, whether that's spiritually or whatever you're going through. There's a reason why that is. It could just be because I'm not sure if I'm to say that was your training, but it was to toughen you somewhat. Or encourage you or, or to put you in that position so that you know what's going on so that you can bring the light forth. You see what I mean? So no, it's not that pain makes you stronger or you have to go through pain. It's more like it is the way it is on earth. You know what I mean? But you came here to rebirth kind of love pure purely so you came maybe you came in a very chaotic environment in your family life something like that but you're here to write something new to create a new it has something to do with water maybe bringing heaven to earth something like that uh it's like um You were put in that situation so you can understand it, so that you can bring more clarity and healing, you know. You are a, you are a healing cell. You're like a T-cell or something. You're, you're, a, you're a healing cell. I feel like you, you heal naturally, beautifully. You just, I don't know. And they're meant to be abundant. You're supposed to be abundant. You know? 
as if you just give life, as if naturally you just water plants, talk to the animals, and you're strange. But it's because of the life you came to show or to live or to be a living example of love, a representation of love and life and newness. This is what you're bringing forth. And I encourage you to do it stronger, as, as powerfully as you can, every day. You are the star child. I feel like you've been hoped for. Oh, all right, Cancer, leaving these messages here, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Much love. Remember to hit the like button, share, subscribe on your way out, and I'll see you in the next one. Much love. Take care. Bye.